जय हो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एस के सी बी एस सी डी जी विद्या क्लास सेशन ये स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस इेशनल नंबर वॉट आर इेशनल नंबर द नंबर विच कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू वेर पी एंड क्यू आर इंडिजियस एंड क्यू इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी हैव ऑल्सो टेकन द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इेशनल नंबर दोज आर रूट टू रूट थ्री root 5 root 7 root 8 so like this numbers are irrational numbers and pi is also one of the irrational number and also you have discussed in the previous class how to represent irrational numbers on the number line along with that you have also represented root 2 on the number line today we have to discuss how to represent root 3 on the number line we need to represent root 3 on the number line so here they have given a number line so in this number line so we have seen this is one unit one unit one unit one unit so each are equally divided so this is a number line clear yeah. so as we have discussed in representation of root 2 on the number line so zero is considered as a point a zero is considered as a point a and unit 1 is considered as b what we have considered zero is a and b is That is one point one is b. Yeah. So this is a to b. How many units? One unit. As we have seen, at b we have made one right angle triangle. At b, that is right angle triangle, and we have made a one unit. So we have constructed it. This as how much units? That is one unit. So ninety degree, and then we have to draw one unit. So that is what length AB is there. Same length we should get BC. It should be BC. Now what we have to do? We have to join AC. We need to join a AC. <coughs> we need to join AC. So here. This is one unit, and what about BC? This is also one unit, and we have seen what type of triangle it is. This is a right angle triangle. Yeah. Here, so in right angle triangle, AC length we found by representing root two. AC length we found as root two. AC was root two. How we got AC is root two? Look at here. In the right triangle, which is that right triangle? Right triangle ABC. You need to apply the Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other. Two sides. That is AC square. AC is hypotenuse. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC AB square plus BC square. That is sum of the lengths of squares of other two sides. So AB is one unit, one square. Plus BC is one unit. That is One square. So one square is one plus again one square is also one. Then AC square is equal to one plus one two. Then AC is equal to square root of two units. So AC length we got what unit? That is root two. So this is we have represented root two. Now. Here they have given root three. What we have to represent? We need to represent root three on the number line. Here, 
whatever ac is there for ac we have to draw one perpendicular line for ac what we have to do we have to draw a perpendicular line that to cd perpendicular but cd should be how much you know cd must be 90 degree so cd must be 1 unit this is also 1 unit so here it is right angle 90 degree for ac what we have to do we have to draw cd perpendicular and then you have to join ad what we have to join ad we have to join yeah so dc what length you have to take that is one unit dc is one unit you get one more right angle triangle that is acd one more right angle triangle acd then in the right triangle in right triangle acd which one it is acd so ad is hypotenuse squares of other two sides that is sum of squares of other sides that is ad square is equal to ac square plus dc square ac square plus dc square so ac already we know how much it is square root of 2 that is square root of 2 whole square plus dc length what we have taken that is 1 unit 1 square so here the square and root both get cancelled it will be 2 plus 1 square is One. Therefore, AD square is equal to AD square is equal to three, and AD should be root three units. AD is how many units? Root three units. So now what we have to do? Now we need to draw an arc A as a center. A as a center and AD you have to take as a radius and draw the arc. You have to draw the arc that has to intersect the number line at one point. So you have to take A as a compass needle and B as a pencil needle. Take radius of AD draw one arc that has to intersect this number line at the point E. At which point it intersect? At this point. So this point gives what value it is? Root three. Yeah. So this is what how to represent root three on the Number line, dear students. I hope you understood this one. So once again, I will explain how to represent root three on the number line. First, what you need to do, we have to draw the number line, and we have to make a units. You can take minus one two zero three centimeter one inch, or two centimeter one inch, zero to one again same unit. So what length you have taken? Same length you have taken here. I want to do same length. Two to three, same length. Clear? So first we have to draw number line. And zero we have to mention as point A, and one we have to mention as B. And and B draw BC that is perpendicular to number line. That BC length should be one inch. Clear? And then join AC. So AC will be root 2 already we know in previous example for ac one perpendicular line that is cd we have to construct and cd length should be 1 unit the cd length should be 1 unit 
Then later on we have to join AD. Already we know that AC is root 2 and BC is 1 unit. So by Pythagoras theorem, AD length must be root. So this value is how much? This length is, is AD length is how many units? Root 3 units. So AD length is root 3 units. This AD length is root 3 units. Now you should take compass. Compass needle should be at A and pencil needle should be, pencil point should be at D. It means you should take radius of AD. A as a center, draw one arc, draw one arc and that arc intersect a number line at point E. This point is root 3 on the number line. Now what we have done? We have represented root 3 on the number line. And then I hope this you understood. So along with this representation you have to write this also. Here in the next class we discuss the next exercise. So till then take care. Jai.